Self-discipline is the quiet force behind every great success. In this video, I share seven timeless principles to help you build and maintain unwavering discipline. Drawing from my personal journey filled with challenges, victories, and lessons, I offer insights and stories that will guide you toward a more mindful, focused life. In a world full of noise and endless distractions, we often hear that self-discipline is the bridge between goals and accomplishments. But what does it truly mean to build and maintain this discipline? Today, I share with you seven powerful principles that have shaped my journey and kept me anchored, even in the most challenging times. Principle one, know your why. The first principle is to know your why. Ask yourself, why do you want to achieve what you've set out to do? A purpose anchored deep within your heart fuels resilience. For me, I remember the long nights studying for exams as a young student, not for the sake of grades, but because I wanted to honor my parents' sacrifices. That purpose was stronger than any temptation to quit. When you have a clear why, discipline ceases to feel like a chore. It becomes a mission. Principle two, master your daily habits. Self-discipline is built not in grand gestures, but in the small daily choices we make. Wake up at the same time, meditate for just five minutes each morning, take a walk to clear your mind. These micro habits compound, shaping your willpower over time. I began meditating every sunrise, not realizing that this ritual would become the backbone of my focus and peace. Principle three, embrace discomfort. Growth lives on the edge of your comfort zone. I learned this as a young athlete when every training session pushed me further than the last. Embracing discomfort builds resilience like no other. Remember, moments of difficulty aren't obstacles. They are stepping stones to a stronger version of yourself. Principle five, set boundaries. Discipline is not only about action, but also about protection, protecting your time, energy, and focus. Learn to say no when needed. I recall a period where I stretched myself thin, trying to help everyone. The result, burnout. It was only when I learned to set healthy boundaries that I could show up more fully for those who mattered and for myself. Principle six, reflect and adjust. Discipline without reflection is like a ship without a compass. Regularly pause and ask yourself, is what I'm doing still aligned with my purpose? Take time at the end of each week to evaluate your progress. Adjust your course as needed. This practice has not only kept me disciplined, but also wise enough to know when a new approach is needed. Principle seven, be kind to yourself. Finally, self-discipline is not synonymous with being hard on yourself. There will be days when you falter. When that happens, practice self-compassion. Think of it this way. If a friend fell short, you'd encourage them to try again, not criticize them. So give yourself that same grace. Failure is not the opposite of discipline, it is part of the journey. These principles are not just lessons, but companions on your journey. Remember, self-discipline is like a seed, nurtured with purpose, daily habits, and patience. It grows strong and unyielding. Embrace each day as an opportunity to strengthen this inner power. Principle four, keep promises to yourself. One overlooked aspect of self-discipline is self-trust. If you promise yourself that you'll finish a task by the end of the day, keep that promise. When you honor commitments to yourself, your confidence in your discipline grows. Break those promises and you chip away at that trust. Think of it as keeping a promise to a dear friend. You wouldn't let them down, so why let yourself down?